this is very important theorem on the connected sets. If F is continuous mapping of a matrix space X and E is connected subset of X, then F of E is also connected. So what is given to us that E is a connected subset of X and we have to prove that F of E is connected, right? Let's recall first what are the separated sets. Two sets A and B of a matrix space X are said to be separated if the intersection of A closure with B is phi and the intersection of B closure with A is also phi. Then we say that A and B are two separated sets, non-empty separated sets, right? Now, what is the meaning of A closure? Let's recall that. The closure set A bar, right? So, A bar is set A and its union with A dash. A dash is your derived set, right? Now, what is a derived set? It is the set of all x belonging to R such that x is a limit point of A. That is, A dash is a collection of all the limit points of A. And A closure is the set A itself and its union with A dash. That is the collection of all limit points of A. In fact, A bar is the smallest closed set containing A. Now defining the connected set. A set E subset of X is said to be connected if E is not a union of two non-empty separated sets. So if A and B are two separated sets, then E is not equal to their union. Right? And if I write E to be the union of A and B, then I say that E is not connected. Where A and B are non-empty separated sets. Right? Now let's move on to the proof. What is given to us that E is connected subset of X. And we have to prove that F of E is also connected, where F is a continuous mapping of matrix space X, right? Okay. Let's prove this result by a contradiction. If possible, suppose F of E is not connected. Then what happens? Let's take two non-empty separated sets as A and B. Then, because F of E is not connected, can I write F of E to be the union of these two non-empty separated sets as F of E is not connected? Please check the remark. If E is connected, then it cannot be written as a union of A and B, where A and B are non-empty separated sets. If E is not connected, then it can be written as a union of A and B. Now here I am saying f of e is not connected, right? That is I can write f of e to be the union of a and b, right? Okay, let's consider the two sets g and h where g is taken to be as the intersection of e with f inverse a as f is your continuous mapping of a matrix space x and that is why I have considered f inverse a. And the intersection of E with F inverse B. Right? Okay. Let's find out what is G union H then. So it is E intersection F inverse of A. It's union with E intersection F inverse of B. Which is further equal to E intersection F inverse A union f inverse b right which is equal to e intersection okay this can be written as f inverse of a union b that is equal to e intersection f inverse okay what is a union b it is f of e yes so writing here f of e 
so that is equal to e intersection a that is e so e is equal to g union h please remember this now since g is a subset of f inverse a because g is equal to what it is the intersection of e with f inverse a so can i write from here that g is a subset of f inverse a right okay so therefore let me take closure on both the sides this is equal to f inverse a closure and also h is similarly the subset of f inverse b right because what is h h is the intersection of e with f inverse b so writing h also to be the subset of f inverse b right okay because i know that e is equal to g union h e is the union of g and h and e is given to be as a connected set that means connected set is the union of g and h if i show that g and h are two non empty separated sets then i will get the contradiction to the statement that e is connected yes because a connected set cannot be written as a union of separated sets so let me show that g and h are two non empty separated sets so that i can get a contradiction to the statement that e is connected so to prove g and h to be a non empty separated sets i have to prove that g closure intersection h is phi and h closure intersection g is also phi i have to prove these two right okay so let's see whether we are getting g intersection with h as empty or not let's check okay what is g bar it is from here what we are getting that g bar is a subset of f inverse a closure right intersection with h which is also further the subset of f inverse b right okay so this is equal to f inverse of a closure intersection with b right and we have written that we have considered that a and b are two non empty separated sets so therefore a closure intersection b is already phi because a and b are separated sets non empty separated sets and f inverse phi is phi so that is what we are getting that g closure intersection h is equal to phi so g closure h is equal to phi similarly we can get h closure intersection g is also phi so we are getting both the intersection to be as phi so this implies g and h are separated sets yes very fine now since e is the union of g and h right so therefore e is not connected a connected set cannot be the union of separated sets so i'm writing therefore e is not connected which is a contradiction right which is a contradiction because what is given to us that e is connected so this is a contradiction so our supposition was wrong what we have supposed we have supposed that f of e is not connected so our supposition was wrong hence f of e is connected hence proved okay thank you